So here's what I've noticed so far on the trip that I've been taking. So far, it's 27 miles, and I'm on the way to the dealership. I've been letting this cruise control set most time at 65 until now. Now this is a 2024 trimmer with almost 35 inch tires. And I noticed when I was running 65 that my um, miles per gallon was like 20 to 20.1 and it just kept going up. Well now we've got on a faster highway and I've set it to 71 just to see what it does. And it seems like it continually drops down a little bit and I've got 500 miles or close to 500 miles so it is getting better but I think the trimmer model with the 355s it doesn't do as good as the other trucks if you're running over 68 to 70 mile mile per hour I think that the sweet spot in this truck is probably going to be 65 mile per hour um, but we'll see more as it goes and gets broke in now I'm on the way to the dealership because my camera system has messed up on this truck not that big a deal um, about every truck that I've ever bought has had some kind of issue within the 36,000 miles of buying it and I know during the China virus, a lot of people wasn't working, didn't care about nothing. They're still that way pretty much now. Hopefully, Ford's got quality control under their belt and have got things um, a little bit better. But the camera system has messed up. And sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Or it'll work, and then the rear camera will show purple. And I'll post the picture of it up in this video just to show you what I'm talking about but if I try to back up or put it in reverse the camera system won't come on and it will um, it'll say contact dealer so I wanted to take this trip it's about um, 40 some miles one way and 40 some back and there's a few other places I got to go in town and I just wanted to see if it got any better on the trip this time as it's getting broke in. Right now it's 19.5 uh, miles per gallon but I'll get some more footage of this in a little bit and show you guys what I'm talking about. Wanted to check this out while I was at the dealership but uh, this is a Mach-E. It's pretty futuristic sound or you know look it looks like there's speakers all through this or it says B&O on that I don't know if that's a speaker or just a dash otherwise I don't know why I'd say B&O there I know the speakers over here say B&O and they're the same way but uh this is a pretty cool little deal you can see this really well this is for your autonomous driving but I wanted to check this out. So there's no buttons anywhere. Everything's worked through this. So if this quit, it would be a pain in the butt for this vehicle. I do like hard buttons for your air conditioning and stuff. But let's check this out. Sketch. <laughs> it's a little... No, that's... It's got a little latency. Cameras seem decent. Heated seats. I wonder if this has cooled seats. Doesn't seem to. Pretty neat little thing. I don't know that I would like not having a closable sunroof in this thing, but it's a pretty neat deal. Oh, the screen's pretty big. Kind of reminds me of Ram. Show you guys the doors. You doing all right?
So I just left the dealership. They had it in there for a while, checking all my cameras and stuff. Basically what they've come down to is that it's a wire in the actual harness somewhere going to the cameras because all the cameras checked out that they're working and they're gonna have to go through the wiring system, which sounds horrible to me. Um, but I guess we'll see how that works. But none of my cameras work full time and they've got some issues. But while I was there, I had ordered the Ford Tanua cover, which I'll show you guys right here in a second. It's a hard roll Tanua cover. And if you guys order one of those Tanuas, anytime when you order one, Ford gives a rate that they'll pay to have it put on. Now, I could have mine put on for $47.50, which is you know really cheap because it takes you about an hour to have them put on or less or more, depending on how they're set up. But I'll show you guys this one and then you can kind of see what you think. But this one is Ford's brand, which I'm sure it's rebranded but it says forward up here and it's a hard roll and you just pull the button, the switch here, all the way across, or just one. I didn't pull it, I just kind of pulled it down, but you can see and it unlatches on both sides and then you can roll it up. But it's not super stiff, like I wouldn't stand on it or anything. Um, the top of it is a soft material, but then below it, it's got aluminum mesh. Uh, this was a thousand and like, $200 through Ford, but I used my Ford points to get it. And I think it cost me 505. I don't think it's worth over $500 at all, but it is nice and it does seal my bed, or at least I think it does. We'll see. Um, but you can see here, this is kind of faulty looking, but uh, I'll tell you more after I use it. But I just want to tell you guys, if you order one of these, that make sure you get the um, deal where they give it to you up front on the pricing as for how you're gonna pay for them to install it. Like if you want it installed, because if not, it's like 100 to 150 an hour through the dealership. But Ford's got a thing made with them. Any accessories you buy, they've got a really low rate as to what they will let you get them installed for through Ford when you buy the product, but you have to do it when you buy the product. Just a heads up. Are you filming us? Yeah, I got you. Is that good? So we always bring the kids when we come to E-Town, if we can, to the sky's the limit. It's like a trampoline zone. They absolutely love it here. When you, when you can't get a kid to come eat pizza or hot dogs, then you know they're having fun. Whoa. I'm gonna step over you. Oh, we made it. <laughs> Finally got him to come take a big bite of this pizza. Is that good? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. You did a video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got back to Camelsville. Averaged 18 miles per gallon on that 85 to 86 miles trip. So it's definitely getting better than what it was. I do have the tonneau cover on now. So I guess we'll see if that helps too. But like I said, on the way up, before we was doing any stop and go, and I know they had it in the Ford shop for a while and had it running and a couple other things but um as far as other than that um it's it's staying around 18 but it was at 20 to 20.5 when we were driving up at 65 mile per hour with no stop and go so i think this is actually going to get as good or close to my other one once it's broke in